I think the story kind of evolved uh, in the process of while we we're filming. Uh, it's, uh, at least to me, the storyline was pretty clear by the end of uh, our filming, which is in uh, March 2009. That's right after the financial crisis. So in the editing room, uh, we had uh, over 300 hours of footage to, to work with. My assistant editor absolutely hated me. <laughs> <laughs> we spent months and months uh, trans uh, sub uh, subscribing and translating, transcribing, transcribing uh, the footage. But that's that's really essential. It uh, it made our uh, later process so efficient. We we literally transcribed everything, all 300 hours of footage, and we worked with a great editor, Mary Stevens. She's from France, and she. She's a, she's a chief editor for Eric Omer, uh, one of the uh, French New Wave master filmmaker. So she's, yeah, she's really good. She's like world class. Uh, we, we transcribed everything and we, we put everything in. We, we, we created a sort of uh, our own footage organization system in Excel sheets. So basically what we did, uh, it enabled us, uh, while well, in the fine cut process, if Mary wants, if Mary tells me, Li Xing, I need a shot from which year on, the, on that hill uh, at night, I could find that shot for her in 10 seconds uh, out of the 300 hours of footage. So that's, uh, I, I think that's really important. Uh, but uh, coming down to uh, the storyline, uh, I think I had a pretty clear idea after, uh, by the end of the filming, as I said. Uh, it's it's going to be a, a story about uh, how this family changed and how the fa the relationship between the, the daughter and the parents and it's also about the the, f the destiny of this migrant family uh, in the middle of uh, the great the profound changes uh, that are happening in China uh, so my my idea had always been a f just focus on this one family because we shot so much uh, like I said on the train at the train station on on the train back in the village, we followed uh, sort of secondary characters, uh, sometimes even a, a complete secondary storyline. Um, for example, we uh, at the factory, uh, at the factory area of the city, we once followed uh, a guy who uh, a group of factory workers. They uh, it's by the end of the year they they didn't get paid, so they went to have an argument with the factory owner, sort of went into a riot. So we had complete storylines of uh, kind of sub-secondary storylines. Uh, but uh, when we go, when we went into the editing room, we find it would be much more powerful to just focus on this one family uh, and, and their human stories. So we didn't use any of those secondary stories. Uh, 